Hey everyone, so today we're going to be creating a countdown timer using the turtle and time modules as fast as we can. So the first thing we want to do is import the time module and import the turtle module. Um, now we could set up our screen and then for the dimensions of our screen we can have 600 pixels by uh, 500 pixels, 500 pixels, s is equal to turtle dot screen s dot set up the width and the height of the screen um, s dot background color bg color as light light green and we can set the title to something like countdown timer so let's say when I run this You see a, uh, a green screen pop up with the dimensions as 600 by 500 and at the top left you see the title is countdown timer. Uh, so now we could, what we could do is initialize, initialize countdown, initialize, yeah, countdown, countdown is equal to 15, so this is going to start at 15 seconds and then go down to 0 seconds. Now we can draw the countdown board this is just gonna show the board or show the current time so pen is equal to turtle dot turtle another turtle pen um, pen dot color we can set it to black and pen dot hide turtle now what we could do is use a for loop so for timer or for yeah timer and range countdown so it's going to start at this countdown go to negative one but not reach negative one negative one then it's going to do everything inside this for loop so this first parameter is what it starts at which starts at 15 it goes to negative one but not at negative one so it will go to zero actually and then negative one so it'll count down from this to this by uh going down each time so we want to clear the previous thing, whatever is written before. Time pen dot write timer uh, percent sign s. This is a placeholder percent sign percent sign timer. So this timer is going to go uh, into this placeholder. Comma align is equal to center. And then the font is equal to no font, but we want the size to be 40, so the size of the text to be 40 pixels large. Time dot. And then every single time this for loop runs, we want to sleep, which is just going to stall the program or pause the program for one second. This one represents the number of seconds, so when we run this, we have a timer that starts at 15 and then goes all the way down to zero. You see, the clear clears the previous text and then writes the new current time. So when it reaches zero, it should stop. And yeah, it doesn't go below this timer and then the program also stops. So that's it for this timer, which countdown timer. You can add, you could try adding a sound effect at the end to make it, you know, even better. But this is going to be it for this tutorial. See you guys next time.